கிளாஸ் டென் ஹியூமனை கலர்ஃபுல் வேர்ல்டு மாணவனி கண்ணு ரங்குல பிரபஞ்சம் தி ஹியூமன் ஐ இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் இட் எனேபிள்ஸ் அஸ் டு சி தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் கலர்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் அஸ் ஸோ லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் ஹியூமன் ஐ கார்னியா front portion of eye is more sharply covered and it is covered by a transparent protective membrane aqueous humor netrodaka dravam behind the cornea there is a place filled with liquid lens katakam crystalline lens which is responsible for the image formation ஐரிஸ் நல்ல கொட்டு இது சாலா பிரதானமான பாகம் பிட்வீன் ஆக்விஸ் ஹியூமர் அண்ட் த லென்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் எ மஸ்குலர் டயஃப்ரம் கால்டு ஐரிஸ் ஐரிஸ் இஸ் த கலர்டு பார்ட் தட் வி சி இன் அன் ஐ ஐரிஸ் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் இன் கண்ட்ரோலிங் தி அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் லைட் என்டரிங் தி ஐ த்ரூ தி பியூப்புள் இன் லோ லைட் கண்டிஷன் த ஐரிஸ் மேக்ஸ் த பியூப்புள் டு எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் ஸோ தட் மோர் லைட் இஸ் அலோட் டு கோ அண்ட் இன் இட் the case of bright excess of light condition pupil kanupapa iris has a small hole in it called pupil the pupil appears black because any light falling on it goes into the eye and there is almost no chance of light coming back to the outside ciliary muscle ciliary kandaralu the ciliary muscle to which eye lens is attached helps the eye lens to change its focal length by changing the radius of curvature of the lens retina it acts as a screen accommodation sardubatu nabhyantara sardubatu the ciliary muscles adjust the focal length in such a way that the image is formed on the retina we can see the object clearly this process of adjusting focal length is called accommodation kataka nabhyantram sardubatu chesukune prakriya in this way we have explained the structure of human eye by using ifp kanti katakam vastu yokka real image ni retina pai తలక్రిందులుగా ఏర్పరుస్తుంది రెటీనా అనేది ఒక సున్నితమైన పొర దీనిలో దండాలు అంటే రాడ్స్ మరియు శంఖువులు అంటే కోన్స్ అనబడే దాదాపు నూట ఇరవై ఐదు మిలియన్ల గ్రాహకాలు అంటే రిసెప్టర్స్ ఉంటాయి ఇవి కాంతి సిగ్నల్స్ని గ్రహిస్తాయి శంఖువులు అంటే కోన్స్ రంగులను గుర్తిస్తాయి దండాలు అనగా రాడ్స్ కాంతి తీవ్రతను గుర్తిస్తాయి ఆప్టిక్ నర్వ్ ఫైబర్స్ ద్వారా మెదడుకు చేరవేయబడతాయి వాటిలోని సమాచారాన్ని మెదడు విశ్లేషించడం ద్వారా వస్తువు యొక్క ఆకారం పరిమాణం మరియు రంగులను మనం గుర్తించగలుగుతాము